Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I am going to be doing this beautiful pink Valentine's Day look. As I was doing this look, I was just saying, oh my God, I'm gonna be extra glowy, extra glowy, and that is actually what we're serving. We're serving you pink, we're serving you glow, we're serving you skin, we are just serving you a beautiful face. Also, there is a giveaway in this video, so you have to wait all until the end to catch the rules and everything. Before we begin with today's video, please do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel i'd love for you all to join the dli Davy family here on youtube i'm going to be doing a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers so if you want to see that happen subscribe to my channel also as you're subscribing to my channel please click on the notification bell so that you'll always get notifications of whenever i upload a new video all right guys without wasting much of your time let's get started with today's video so as usual with all my tutorials we are going to start with the eyes and i have something special that i'm going to be using today i'm going to be using the face facts gel eye patches which help to reduce puffiness and the appearance of dark circles. I used these once and I really, really liked it and I wanted to use it on camera for you guys. A pack has four and I think it costs less than a thousand naira. So if you're looking for gel patches, please try these out. I'm gonna put the link and my discount code in the description box below. I always see YouTubers do this thing where they have like eye patches under their eyes and they're doing their eye makeup. I wanna be bougie and try that. It's really hard to open this package though. That's the hardest thing. Just going to apply this. Right there. So I have the eye patches on. They're really slippery, but I really like how they feel under the eyes. They have the tendency to kind of like move down a little bit. Leave patch on for 20 to 25 minutes. I'm just gonna remove the patches once I'm done with all my eye makeup. For today's eyeshadow look, we're going for a classic pink look. We are going to be using these two palettes, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Aina palette and the Zulu by Juvia's place palettes. I recognize that using these two palettes together is a little bit interesting, but they have the colors that I want to use for today's look. I'm first going to start off with a pop of concealer on the eyelids to form my eye base. Blend that out using my flat shade, my flat brush. The first shade I am going to start with is Supreme, and this is going to be my transition shade. I don't know if I should call Supreme a transition shade, but it's gonna be the first shade that we use on the lids. Kinda like our first pink, because this look, this eye look is a very pink, very, very pink look. So, it is about less than a week to Valentine's. Valentine's is on Friday. How are we all feeling about Valentine's Day? It's really interesting, I never, I've never been that person that got gifts or like did huge celebrations for Valentine's Day because I've just been unlucky in romance and in love that I've, not dated people that put a lot of emphasis on Valentine's Day, even though I am the person that likes to put a lot of emphasis on Valentine's Day. So like in secondary school, like when people were getting gifts on Valentine's Day, I wasn't getting any gifts. Even in uni, the only time I can say that I really celebrated Valentine's Day was um, my ex, we bought pizza and we watched movies. That's all we did for Valentine's Day back then. But for the first time, I actually have Valentine's Day plans and it's really, it's interesting, it feels good. So do you guys have any plans? What would you want to do for Valentine's Day? I think the classic thing that a lot of people do for Valentine's Day is that, oh, they go out for dinner, uh, maybe they get a hotel or something. I'm gonna be curating downfall on Valentine's Day. We're gonna have special playlists that are dedicated to like, you know, love and stuff. I've already put my playlist together. I've actually been working on the playlist for, I think, two weeks now i've been working on this playlist and i'm hoping to get people that want to also do like special love themed valentine's day playlist yes it's a friday but i would not want you to come and we play whiskala whiskalo you know let's uh, you know let's keep the romantic mood going the next shade i'm going to be using is from the zulu by juvia's place and i'm going to be using a flat fluffy fluffy brush to apply this pink shade into my crease. These gel patches move around a lot. So if you notice the movement changing, is that they kind of slip or slide down, you know, gravity. So yeah, what is everybody's plans? I love to know people's plans for Valentine's Day. As I said, I am curating um, 
that night at Danfo. So we're gonna have like special playlists for Valentine's Day. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for that. I'm just going back in with that first brush I used to blend that out. We have a really nice pink base going on right here. I am going to take the shade Zam, which is this gold glittery shade right here. And I'm going to apply that all over the lid and even up. What I want is a diffused gold look that kind of goes into the crease. I kind of want the lid to look glowy, but I want the pink to be there. Shades like Zam are much better applied with your finger and it's even going to add to that gold diffuse the look. I'm taking it up into the crease. I'm gonna go back with the brush and just blend out the edges a bit. So that diffuse look looks really nice. Gonna go back and add more Zam. So I'm gonna add Zam, blend, add, blend, add, blend. That's how the look is. I don't have a lot of experience with gel eye patches cause I think this is like my first time ever using them. If this is how like regular patches move up and down, let me know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna take a crease brush and go into the shade Pinker and use that to add definition to the corner of my eyes. Just a little bit, not too much. Just to add some definition. Then I'm going to take the first brush I used which was with the shade Pinker, and just blend out all the edges. We're done with the eyeshadow. These things keep on moving, so I'm just going to remove them. I do like how very bright my under eyes look. My under eyes look very bright. Another reason why I also remove those eye patches because I'm about to do liquid liner, and I do not want anything, anything to ruin my liquid liner look. This is the Zara HD liquid liner, and I am going to do a nice wing. Got some wing liner on one eye. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish the eyes with mascara. This is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I would love for you guys to give me mascara recommendations. I've been using this mascara for years. It's one of the best affordable mascaras out there. I would love for you guys to give me some mascara recommendations. I'm looking for a mascara that's gonna add volume going to add length and add definition. So if you guys know any mascaras that you know will do the trick, please let me know. I do want to try out the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Apparently that's a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. So I would love your mascara recommendations. So we're done with the eyes for now. It's a really simple look. You guys know I like simple looks unless I really want to get crazy and creative. But I really like this look. It's really nice and simple. Um, I am out of primer. <laughs> Don't know how I ran out of primer. I mean, I knew it finished and I threw it away. I forgot to buy a new primer before throwing away the old one. So to prime my face, this is a trick I've learned. Um, makeup artists do this sometimes. I'm gonna use my setting spray all over my face. I'm not gonna use much. I'm going to take the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder and I'm gonna use a little bit of it to set this primer. It's so crazy to me that I'm actually taking this look to the beach. Me and my brother are going to Takwa Bay, putting a full face of Valentine's Day makeup on my face. Today, I'm going to be using the Nubin Beauty In My Skin Foundation. I am a mix of shade 12 and 13. The sticker on the back has peeled off. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Sometimes I really wish I didn't have to mix this foundation, but alas, this is the life I live. Yeah, that's a good match right there. I really like this foundation, my God. It feels so nice and smooth. This glowiness does dry down. It doesn't dry as a really glowy foundation. It dries down more of like, a satin demi matte it's not completely matte but it will give you like a tiny glow i don't know if i mentioned it but i accidentally hit my head with my car door so if you guys see a random bump or if you guys have noticed like that place is a little swollen up it's because i hit myself in the head with my car door which is the weirdest thing that i think that has happened to me because i have opened my car door so many times how is it that me, that I, Diola Adebi, that drives everywhere, opens her car door a million times. And this one day, I don't know what happened, but I hit myself in the head. Like I was opening my car door and I, boom, hit myself in the head. It makes no sense to me. Ooh, look at my skin. My skin looks so nice. This foundation is so good and I can't wait for whoever wins this giveaway. Oof, I should not talk about it. I'm gonna layer my concealers as usual. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 60. I'm only going to use it under my eyes. I'm going to let this sit for a bit so we can get some coverage. You know what? Maybe I should do a video called 
things Jackie Aina taught me, which includes like all the tips and tricks that I have learned from watching all her videos. Powder before foundation trick because of her. I learned the layering concealer trick because of her. I learned the, um, what other trick did I learn from? I learned so many things from Jackie, so many things. So if you guys are gonna be interested in that, let me know. I'm definitely interested in doing a video called like, things Aunt Jackie taught me and I think it'd be a really good fun video because I love Jackie she's one of my favorite youtubers I watch her and I met her in person two years ago and she's so pretty and so beautiful and she smells so good but yeah let me know if you guys are interested in that video and I will do it if you guys want to see that perfect coverage guys look at this coverage next I'm gonna use the same concealer but in a lighter shade this is shade 45 oh my god is anybody here watching The Circle? Well, it's on Netflix. It's a social media reality TV show. It's so cool and so weird and so interesting. Like, these people are living in a house and the only way they can communicate with each other is via a voice-activated social media platform that is built into the house. Like, they're talking to the TV. They're like, Circle, open private chat with blah 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 and they start flirting and people are really catching feelings and then they rank everybody and then the top two people are the influencers and then the influencers are actually going to vote out somebody and sometimes they vote out people because one they don't like them or they don't connect with them or they're shady or like they're trying to find out who the catfish is and they're like catfishes in the show oh my god it's so like i don't know why i like it but i like it it's so interesting i'm not gonna give any spoilers but i really i really hope that my girl wins it's a pretty particular girl that I want to win. I really like that girl. Finished watching, um, what show did I just finish watching on Netflix? It's also, oh, I, oh. If you are into fashion and you're into fashion reality shows, you definitely have to watch Next in Fashion. It is a really good fashion reality show. They're not catty. The contestants are so nice to each other. The contestants actually have talent. These are people that actually have like fashion labels. They've dressed celebrities. There's somebody on that show that has dressed Beyonce, Usher, um, Ariana Grande and stuff like that. So the talent on the show is exquisite like the people of the show are actually talented it's also host hosted by alexa chung and tan france alexa chung is one of the original british influencers she's a fantastic host her and tan france tan france is one of the guys from queer eye which is a show on netflix um oh well it was a show for something it was a show on another platform but now it's on netflix where basically five gay guys come together and they do a makeover for a straight guy but point is that they're two fantastic hosts everybody on that show deserves to win everybody on that show is utterly fantastic i, I absolutely love next in fashion and the winner of next in fashion deserves it so so much like i was crying at the end of the show it's such a good show <laughs> while i was talking about netflix i blended out all the concealer now i'm going to be using the maybelline master strobing liquid which is basically a liquid highlight i'm gonna put a bunch of it on the side of oh my god i put a lot this baby right here is more than enough believe me so i'm going to take the flat buffer end and Place that on my cheekbones. It has a very nice, moussey feeling. Blends in so well into the skin. I'm going there. I'm doing full tin man. For this look, I want to be really nice and glowy. I want my skin to look like really nice and pretty, which is why I'm using this product the way I'm using it. Because usually I just put it on my cheekbones. But today, I want to I wanna glow. Rudolph the red Nose reindeer had a very shiny glow. Uh, I saw him. You would even say it glows. Ha! What are you guys' favorite love songs? I'm working on a Valentine's playlist for work, and I would love to know you guys' favorite love songs. Please put them in the description box below. I already have my list. We already have a good mix of songs on the playlist, but I would love to know everybody's, you know, everybody's, you know, songs. It's time to set the under eyes. I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. I've had this powder since when this office was a different color. A little bit of that powder goes a long way. I'm gonna use this powder and set under my eyes and basically set everywhere I put that concealer. So I started putting powder in my smile line, so I'll do this. 
so that this whole entire area is basically lit up and highlighted as well. For the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Dark. Make sure the skin looks nice. We're going to be using two highlighters today because I is extra. The first highlight I'm going to use is the Candid Glow by Younger Beauty. This is the shade Porkish. I'm going to take my little highlight brush and first highlight under my brows because I feel like that place needs a little zhuzh. I'm going to just blend it. I'm doing all the smaller places first. So I'm doing my nose. Rudolph, the highlighted reindeer is out to play. But do you see how glowy and how like it connects? Like look at how glowy that eyebrow is now. All right, I'm gonna take my bigger brush and this is what I'm gonna use for my face. This is the Rose Charm Blush from Zara Cosmetics. This is from their Hyper Blush range. It's a really pigmented blush. I do want the blush to tie into the pink, so I'm going to add a little, a little bit. And go back over this with some loose powder. Then we're going to go into the second highlight, but I'm only using this highlight on my cheekbones to tie in the pinkness. So I'm going to take the same brush I used before and just whoop, whoop. Blend everything together. That is a glow. So it's pink, but not too pink. I'm very happy with my face. I've been very happy with the way I've been doing my skin makeup lately. I feel like I've just gotten better and better with time. The more you practice makeup, the more you use makeup, the more you, you know, you practice and you play around, you become better. And I can comfortably say that my skin work is at a very good level right now. All right, I'm gonna set everything down with a little bit of finishing spray. So we melt all those powders down. Let's finish up the eyes. We have done some very good work right now. I'm very proud of what the work we've done. So for my eyes, I'm first gonna line my waterline with this gold pencil. I really like using a gold pencil to line my waterline. It really just opens up the eye. I've been using this gold pencil to line my waterline for the longest time. To finish up the eyes, I'm just going to use the two eyeshadows, the two pink eyeshadows that we used. I'm first going to go in with this shade here with a precision crease brush. I'm really scared of getting eyeshadow all over the great skin work we just finished doing. So I'm trying to be very, very careful. That's coming together very nicely. Then I'm gonna go into the Jackie palette and take the shade Supreme and use that to blend out that shade we put before. I don't know why I'm talking like this. And then I'm going to finish with some mascara. I've realized that whenever I do my top lashes, if I look down, it's better. On my bottom lashes, if I look up, it's also good. Allows me to see each and every lash. It's time for the lips. I am first going to start off with the Zara Cosmetics lipstick pen in the shade Muse. And then I'm going to use the Cream Sheen Nippon lipstick from MAC Cosmetics. And then last but not the least, my new favorite lip gloss. This is the Zara Cosmetics um, Max X, no, Max Sheen lip gloss in the shade Pink. Pearls. And this is the finished look, guys. I really like it. It's really simple, glowy, pretty, pretty skin, beautiful glossy lips and pink eyes. I I can't get enough of this look. I'm actually looking at myself in the viewfinder. I'm like, damn. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I hope you like it, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Now, I know this is the time that everybody has been waiting for, the giveaway. So last year, I attended the Nubian Beauty In My Skin Foundation launch, and I was gifted this whole entire box of foundations. I have already taken my shades out. I gave my mom a shade. I even gave Edwin a shade because he was trying to cover up some discoloration on his back. But I still have so many foundations left. These foundations are doing nothing sitting in my office gathering dust so i would love and i would rather give it to a makeup artist that will get so so much use out of this i wanted to figure out a way i could give individual people individual shades but i feel like that would have been way too much hassle way too much stress i didn't want to give somebody a shade that wouldn't be their own i didn't want any of that hassle so i felt like a makeup artist would get so much better use out of having all these shades in her kit so the giveaway rules are pretty simple you have to be subscribed to my youtube channel you have to follow me on instagram and you have to leave a comment under this video with a link to your makeup page so it could be on instagram it could be on twitter it could be on facebook i just need proof that you are actually a makeup artist this is a really great foundation i wouldn't give away a product that i don't think would be useful to you it's a really nice foundation 
as you guys can see i love it it's one of my favorite foundations and i'm so happy to be able to give this away to somebody that truly truly needs it the rules again are pretty simple subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on instagram and leave a comment below with a link to your business page make it instagram facebook twitter again i just need proof that you are a makeup artist so i'm going to announce the winner of this giveaway on valentine's day so this is going to be like a valentine's day gift to a certain makeup artist good luck to everybody that enters i'm planning on doing a giveaway if i get to 5,000 subscribers so if you're interested if you want to win some stuff help me get subscribers help me get some subscribers thank you guys so much once again for watching this video and watching this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and do not forget to be awesome i'll see you guys in my next video bye